the 2021 iMac is the first to adopt a new design in years. It has a new 4.5K display, and of course, it's the first iMac to run on Apple's own silicon in the M1 chip. Inside of the box, we get the iMac itself. Nicely presented behind that is the new keyboard, lightning cable, power adapters, documentation, and the magic mouse. With the new iMacs, Apple decided to color match the paperwork with the color of the computer. Since the iMacs all use two-tone colors for the base and the back of the Mac, you actually get two different stickers to reflect that. Next up is the power brick, but what's different about this power brick is it has an ethernet port baked right into it. With this premium woven power cord that's color matched perfectly being the only thing you technically need on top of your desk. Of course, you still need to connect it to an outlet and you get a standard white power cord to do that. But something that you will be seeing a lot of is the all new Magic Keyboard where we have white keys sitting on an orange aluminum frame. What makes this keyboard extra special is it's the first to bring Touch ID to a desktop Mac. The next thing that we have is the Magic Mouse. And unfortunately, the lightning port to charge this thing is still at the bottom, meaning you can't use the mouse while you're charging it. Now, the last accessory from the box is the lightning to USB-C cable. This is what you'll use to charge both the keyboard and the mouse. Apple decided to color match it as well with the same woven orange material as the power cord. But here it is, the all new iMac itself, where we have a lot of layers of protective material to take off, including a sticker across the entire screen with that iconic hello text. Where you can see on the back of the iMac, you have a deep orange tone, while the base has a lighter, more coral orange, while on the front, you have a coral tone on that bottom bar with a white bezel going around that 24 inch screen. You've got four USB-C ports, two of which are Thunderbolt 4. There's the power input where the cord magnetically attaches through the hole in the base. And on the bottom right, there's a big power button that's placed conveniently to where you can easily reach it with your fingers from the front. This new iMac is only 11.5 millimeters thick. On the left side of the iMac, you have a headphone jack. You've got a couple of mics on the top edge. And underneath, you have the speaker grills for that six speaker sound system. While I don't think it'll compete with like pro standalone speakers or headphones, I can totally see myself watching a show on this thing especially with that 4.5K display. Everything just looks crystal clear. The colors are great and the brightness is more than enough. They also improved the microphones with beamforming so it picks up more of your voice instead of the background. And the selfie camera has also been improved to a 1080p sensor. And then the last major thing with this new iMac is of course the chip inside of it. And so far it seems more than powerful enough to do most of the things that you're gonna wanna do on the iMac. And if you're looking for one of the cleanest desktop setups that you can have and just a good looking computer, the all new iMac is gonna be hard to beat.